Hello there, welcome. My name is Nicole Lee, Nicole Lee Qigong. Uh, welcome to another video in the Awakening Qigong series. Let's begin by just standing in this bamboo in the wind position for a moment. I invite you to close your eyes or look down, lift the crown of your head, see if you can sense a little lengthening through the back of the neck or just a sort of an elongation through the back of your neck. Notice your arms, move them just slightly away from the sides of your body and allow the hands to become more spacious, opening the palms and Noticing the fingers, straightening softly the fingers pointing down. Come also to notice the soles of the feet and bring the weight just a little towards the front of the feet. Take a couple of breaths here. Notice what's present for you in your experience as you come to practice. Step the feet out and find a open, strong foundation. This is our Qigong posture, standing the way that we stand, very important. There's lots of information out there about the correct standing for Qigong and why we do that. Uh, move the arms a little bit more out from the body and just broaden across the chest and through the shoulder region. Let's just open the gates one time since we're doing just a, a, a short practice here. Gathering all of yourself to yourself. Coming into this time that you've put aside. Arms return by the sides and then working into a swinging motion. Up and back with the arms. You'll notice my arms are just coming to around the level of my face. And it's really nice here to take some cleansing breaths. So breathing out through the mouth a few times. In through the nose and out through the mouth. As you feel ready to move into what is referred to as cupping the chi. Swing, make fists and tap. Swing, make fists and tap. Slow it down, take some deeper breaths. One more time, arms coming down by the sides. Take a full breath, notice how you're feeling, sensing what's present and what might be transforming and changing. Lift the arms now, bring them above the head, have the biceps nice and close in towards the ears, softening the knees and then allowing one arm to move forward and down and the other arm back and down. And returning to where we've began, Moving in opposite directions, sometimes this form can kind of feel like it's breaking your brain a little bit. Return and go back in the opposite direction, so the opposite arm forward and the respective arm back three times. Bend the knees to help with the movement and create an easeful movement. And then return again to the original side. Just nice and slow. One more set of three, reversing. Really reach right up. You can take the gaze up and then radiate the arms around and down. Create some fists, light fists with the thumbs on the outside, right by the waist. Pull the elbows back and again, this will create a broadening through the chest. We're going to take one hand and we'll release the fist and we'll turn and we'll reach out. We'll radiate across to the other side and 
right around as far as possible behind. Take the hand and move and push a claw shape to the shoulder. Send that up and look up, really reaching on this side. Then soften and come over into a little side stretch. Let the head come to neutral, look forward. Then this arm is going to come right down towards the earth. We'll bend the knees, we'll sweep down across. We'll reform our fist and we'll pull up the side of the leg. We'll come back to where we began. Let's do the other side. Release the fist, move across and around in front. Right behind, as far as you can. Look behind, send a claw up overhead, really reach. And then head to neutral as we come into the lean. Little pause, bend the knees, sweep right down. Reform the fist and pull up. We'll do a few more. Take the other arm across, out of round. Send a claw up overhead, really reach, look up. Head to neutral into a nice little lean. Sweep right down. Form the fist and pull up. We head across the body and out and around. Right behind, up over the head. Head to neutral as we lean and down we go. Fist and up. Let's do two more, one for each side. This time we'll come up, we'll return to where we began, we'll release the fists, we'll bring the arms down and we're going to lift our arms here, rotate the inner arms outwardly, gaze up, bring the arms and sweep them slightly behind and down. Soften and round here, lift up, inner arms opening, gaze up and around and down, lift above the head, around and down. Rowing a boat on the lake. This one's often referred to as, or some kind of variation of that. Feeling between the shoulders here as the shoulder blades gently move in towards one another. Couple more times. Last one. Arms return by the sides. We come back to that active but soft standing. Take a full breath and just really notice how you're feeling. Hmm, let's take ourselves here up into a cross below and up over the head, look up, radiate to the sides and down. Sometimes this is referred to as firework. Lots of Qigong names, uh, lots of forms have similar names, similar qualities. Cross over, up, radiate above, out to the sides and down. Nice and smooth. With this one, the hands and the wrists, are, they're not touching. They're close as they come up, but they're not touching. Just a few more.
Let the arms come down, let them radiate down and allow the hands to connect to earth here. Just soften everything, allow the eyes to close, take a few breaths. This next form, it comes from a five element practice, where this one relates to the earth. We're going to crouch forward and make a scoop. We're going to come down and scoop up. And then we're going to place the hands very close but not touching in front of the Dumtian. We're going to bend one knee and really lean out as we separate the arms and we'll look behind. And then we'll draw our hands back and our weight back to neutral. We'll bend the other leg and we'll really lean into it as we look behind and again separate the arms. As we come back, we'll take ourselves down to pull the chi of the earth back up. We'll do exactly the same thing. Bend, look behind, separate the arms and come in. And then again, bend and lean, separate the arms and come in. Again, a big scoop. Scoop, pulling up, bend, and back. The crouching rabbit, this one's called, refers to a, a uh, acupressure point, a spot, an acupressure point in the leg, the crouching rabbit. Scoop up. Crouch. Just one more here. Big scoop down. Pull the earth chi up. And crouch. Come back to centre. We'll place the hands over the dumb tien for a moment. The energy centre the center earth point of the body. See if you can allow your energetic center to drop down. Take a full breath. Hmm, see what's maybe changed or transformed within. And we're going to do one more form for this short little practice. Let's take the hands off the abdomen. Bring them very close, but not touching. Just a few inches apart. Elbows out and away from the sides of the body. And we're just going to caress a column of light up and down, up and down, up and down. Let the eyes close or partially close. Allow your palms to be open and your fingers straight and active, straight, soft and active. And see if you can get this little rhythm happening for yourself you don't need to be moving in alignment with me you don't even need to be looking at this video now right you can just be feeling up and down up and down caressing the column of light and see if you can Allow your breath to become very soft here. The breath moving in and out through the nose if possible. Allow a little smile to come onto the corners of the mouth as you do a few more. The next time the hands come down, we'll again cover the dantian. 
take a few breaths. We'll release the hands off the abdomen now and bring the arms by the sides and we'll close our chi gates just one time. Gather yourself to yourself. Gather all the qualities that you wish to embody. Gather all of your energy. Seal this field. Protect yourself energetically. Let that be your intention. Then step your feet back into your bamboo in the wind. Return the hands to the Dantian and perhaps you'll just spend a few moments here standing, being with yourself, being with your center. Or maybe if you have some time, you'll take a little seated or a laying down uh, meditation, some time for integration and rest. Until I get to share with you again, I'm Nicole Lee. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye for now.